Pele, the greatest footballer to never play in Europe. From his debut for Boyhood Club Santos as a 16-year-old, Pele remained in Brazil throughout his three successes at the World Cup before transferring to the New York Cosmos in 1975. His time in Brazil was celebrated with successive Copa Libertadores and six Brazilian Serie A titles. Pele has stated on numerous occasions that there was a lure of European football and that he almost joined Napoli and Real Madrid in the 60s. However, Pele was more than happy to stay in Brazil, as Santos were a global footballing powerhouse. No less so than the muscle that they showed against European counterparts in the Intercontinental Cup Finals of 1962 and 1963. Pele scored a hat-trick at the home of European champions Benfica in a 5-2 win for Santos and scored in the subsequent year's final against AC Milan. Pele remains the only player to win the World Cup three times, scoring twice in the final as a teenager in 1958, appearing in 1962 and scoring in the 1970 final thrashing of Italy in Mexico. But let's slide the doors open, gauge the effect of the butterfly and rewrite the football in history books. Here's what would have happened if... Pelé left his bio club for Real Madrid after winning the 1962 World Cup. With the World Cup sewn up and Pelé gently recovering at home from the injuries suffered at the tournament, Real Madrid come in with an unavoidable offer. Pelé was a Real Madrid player, leaving behind a Santos team on the cusp of their first Libertadores triumph. A two-legged final against Uruguayan outfit Peñarol awaited, but by the time Peñarol edged a playoff replay 1-0 in Buenos Aires, Pelé had helped Real Madrid into the second round of the European Cup. Pele would join the likes of Alfredo Di Stefano and Frank Puskas at the Bernabeu, still recovering from losing the 1962 European Cup final 5-3 against Eusebio's Benfica. Real Madrid had won the first five European Cup titles, but hadn't won their sixth title in the following two attempts. They had claimed seven of the last decade's La Liga titles and would win seven more in Pele's eight seasons at the club. Pele's first taste of European Cup football was part of a 7-0 win over Anderlecht, four of which came from the Brazilian. The trident of Di Stefano and Puskas in the WM formation struck fear into the opposition. CSK Sofia, Dundee and Milan were all toppled, with Real scoring 24 goals in 6 games. The opposition in the final? Benfica. Eusebio got the early goal at Wembley before Di Stefano dealt them a double blow either side of the half-time break. Pele and Puskas added numbers 3 and 4 in a route in London, number 6. Pele would wrap up number 7 and 8 in successive years to Inter Milan, as Real Madrid neared their initial dominance both on the continent and back home. Puskas, part of the Hungarian squad that shocked the world in 1953 at Wembley, helped the application of the false nine via Alfredo de Stefano. With the Argentine dropping ever so slightly off, Pele and Puskas would kill off a bamboozled opposition, and so brings us to 1966. Though Partizan Belgrade did find a goal in the European Cup final, Real Madrid would put eight beyond the Yugoslav team. Pele three, Puskas four, and De Stefano one. The biggest win in a European final that still stands today. Real Madrid had nine titles, but soon came the departures of Puskas and De Stefano into retirement. But first, the 1966 World Cup. With a few years head start of facing Pele semi-regularly, the Benfica-dominated Portuguese side put Brazil to the sword. However, with wins over Bulgaria and Hungary and the evasion of injury left Pele eyeing up a third successive World Cup for Brazil. Five goals against Soviet Union and West Germany had Pele only behind Eusebio in the Golden Boot standings. Eusebio had guided Portugal to third place, whilst Pele still had the final to play against England. He needed a hat-trick to equal Eusebio's nine goals at the tournament. He would only manage two in a 3-2 win over England, a move that signalled the end of Pele's international career for the time being, as he claimed a third World Cup. A Real Madrid without Di Stefano and Puskas was still able to dominate in Spain, but not abroad. They relinquished their grip on the European Cup in 1967, losing in a quarter-final to Inter Milan. 1968 meant the semi-finals and a loss to eventual winners Manchester United. The player who turned out Wembley for that final would be coming to the Bernabeu that summer, however. Benfica's Eusebio joined Pelé at Real Madrid. Their swan song was the crowning of La Decima in 1970. Real had put Leeds United and Celtic to the sword on the way to a date with Feyenoord at the San Siro. A hat-trick for Eusebio and one from Pelé in the latter's final game for the club clinched a 4-2 win in Italy. Pelé would return to the international fold for the 1970 World Cup in Brazil, a move that would be successful in both his and his nation's fourth successive world title, and Pelé's return to Santos in 1970. Real Madrid winners La Decima wasn't claimed in 2014 but in 1970 because of the works of the Holy Trinity, Pelé, Di Stefano and Puskas, the greatest front line ever assembled. Brazil winners because they won an unprecedented four World Cups in a row, what more really needs to be said? England losers 
the one thing that England fans can shout about the 1966 World Cup is no more. Please leave a like on this video and subscribe, as it really helps our channel grow. In 2021 we will be expanding our what if scenarios to 4 days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Saturday. We will be uploading all of our what if football goodness such as video game reviews and the Naughty's Nostalgia podcast on Wednesdays, Throwback Thursdays, Fantasy Five side on Fridays and the Biography of Football on Saturdays. Tier Tuesday has evolved into Ranked, Tuesday's series which ranks the best and the worst of all football. If you have any suggestions for a what if scenario or any other content, please leave it in the comments section or tweet us at whatif_youtube. underscore YouTube. See you tomorrow.